After 170 days in space, the four astronauts of the SpaceX Crew Dragon Freedom undocked from the International Space Station and embarked on their five-hour return journey to Earth. Bad weather across Florida had caused a one-day delay to the homecoming of NASA astronauts Jessica Watkins, Bob Hines, Cachelle Lindgren, and the European Space Agency's Samantha Cristoforetti. But SpaceX and NASA gave the all-clear Friday with a splashdown site near the coast of Jacksonville. So we are getting our very first views there from the WB-57 of the capsule as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. Mission Control watched with bated breath as Dragon Freedom entered the most critical six minutes of the trip home when temperatures outside reached nearly 2,000 degrees Celsius, making communications impossible. Freedom, SpaceX, ComCheck. check. And SpaceX, Freedom has you left clear, coming through 30 kilometers altitude. Copy and concur. The re-entry was SpaceX. flawless. Brace for drug window. For Two small parachutes deployed, slowing the descent to 560 kilometers per hour. And one minute later, four bigger chutes gradually slowed the vessel to a gentle 25 kilometers per hour. Ending with splashdown at 4.55 p.m. local time. And on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. This was SpaceX's fourth successful astronaut mission, transporting crews to and from the International Space Station for NASA. An awaiting recovery vessel lifted Dragon Freedom aboard. A doctor was the first to welcome home crew four in person, and mission pilot Hines was the first to emerge. Behind him came the three other astronauts, including Watkins, the first black woman to complete a long-term space flight. More medical checks await them, then a trip to Houston where they'll be reunited with family. The astronauts said they look forward to a cold drink with ice, a shower, and reveling in the nature of planet Earth. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera.